to Win Souls TV. This is your host, Jeff Thomas, and today we are going to be talking about <laughs> something very specific. Uh -uh. Speed. Mm -hmm. Speed. Mm -hmm. Give me some. Thank you. So, today we are going to be talking about something very specific. Um, I wrote a book. It is called Running the Race, A Call to Action and Journey of Growth with the Lord. And it'll be down in the description if you guys want to check that out. Now, in this book, I talk, I'm, I'm very open. Uh, it's almost unbearably, I'm almost unbearably open about everything. I mean, it's, sometimes it's almost uncomfortable how open I am about, you know, some of the things in my life. Now, um, before this book was about to come out, I was really being uh, attacked and I was like this close to finishing the book. And I went to a conference and uh, Michael Van Vlyman's wife came up to me and she said, take nothing out of your book. And she said, you and she said, be as bold as a lion. And there were some things that that were really if I had left them in the book at the time that I was being attacked, they I mean, it was just really, really bold. And I was just like, man, should I take this out? Should I take this out? And when she said, leave that in the book, I said, I knew that that was the confirmation that I needed. And so I, uh, I you know, we, we go through the process of publishing the book. The book is out now. It's on Amazon. And so some of my family gets a hold of it this Christmas. And I, I brought them all, you know, copies and I signed them and everything. It was it was a good experience. And um, I gave a copy to one of my family members. She reads the book. And she calls me and she was a little upset with me. She was angry. And she said, oh, you should have took this part out of the book. You should have took that part out of the book. Oh, I didn't want people knowing this about me and all of this. Da, 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 da. Well, let me say this. As, as, and as she continued to talk, the, the Holy Spirit, he said to me, he said, the reason that this person did not want those things in the book was because there are things in the past that this person has not dealt with and that really brought something to me I'm just gonna read uh, two verses for you guys one is Isaiah 43 uh, 18 through 19 remember not the former things nor consider the things of old behold I am doing a new thing now it springs forth do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. And the other is first, I mean, John 1, wait, 1 John 1, 9. It says, if I confess our sins, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from our unrighteousness. Okay, so with that, if the Lord is trying to bring us into a new thing, we can't continue dwelling on the things of the past. Okay. Whatever happened back then or whatever, we can't stay there. We cannot stay there. Our job is to usher in the kingdom of heaven. Okay. And if we are focused on things of our past or things that have hurt us or things that we have not dealt with, then we need to consult the Lord about those specific things because he is just in order to forgive us of all of the things that we have not done in our past. Okay? All of the things that we have pushed to the back of our head. Pushing things to the back of our head. And this person said, you know, I, I just felt like I dealt with those things. I, I felt like I was past it. Well, if you were past it, and this is not specifically talking to this person, but this is talking to anyone that, that makes that comment. If you were past it, if somebody writes something about it or if somebody says something about it, the emotional response behind what was said should not be there. You should not receive that in a negative way if it's already been dealt with correctly. So in order to perceive that new thing that the Lord is bringing in your life, you need to deal with the things that could be preventing that breakthrough moving forward for the new thing that he is trying to bring to you. Okay. 
always, 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 always ask the Lord to bring to your remembrance things that you have pushed to the back of your head that you need to repent for. We need to repent of our sins. We need to repent for things that, that have taken place and we thought during the things in our life or during that time period in our life uh, was okay. We need to let go of those specific things, but we need to do it the right way. We need to call and ask for forgiveness concerning specific people in our lives that we have not forgiven. We need to ask them to forgive us for being resentful. We need to forgive people that have wronged us. We need to begin to step forward in the things that hurt. What does that mean? Repentance is a form of humbling yourself. It's a form of admitting that you were wrong. It's a form of admitting that, hey, I can't hold on to this pride for the rest of my life. I'm not perfect. OK, let all of that stuff go. Let it all go. Let God take care of it. But you have to be willing to let go in order to perceive the things that he has for you in the future. But if you got all of this junk in the trash that I mean, in the in the past that you were holding on to, how can you ever take a step forward? With all of that luggage, with all of that luggage, and then if somebody brings it up, you ready to defend it. You ready to defend it to the grave, knowing that it was wrong. OK, if somebody is moving boldly in terms of what they are supposed to be doing and what the Lord has called for them to do. But that shedding light on what whatever they're doing is shedding light on your specific life and your circumstance. And you're getting angry at them for moving out of obedience. And you need to check yourself because that's not them that's doing anything wrong. That's you. So always, 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 always ask the Lord to search you. Ask the Lord to test you. Ask the Lord to bring you to the place that is necessary for this specific time period. Ask him to place you where you need to be. But all of that begins with dealing with past sin that has not been dealt with. Forgiveness is key and asking for forgiveness after you have forgiven people that have wronged you is also key. So move forward out of obedience to the Lord in terms of dealing with things either right then or right there or things that you haven't dealt with. Ask the Lord to bring it to your remembrance and deal with it. Ask for repentance and repent. Move. Move. We have to move. Don't just sit there and dwell in the past. Don't just sit there and try to cover stuff up and sweep it up under the rug. The Lord sees it. OK, and don't carry around all of that baggage. Deal with it and be free. I love you guys. Be blessed. Have a good one.